Hello and welcome now to get to some practical examples. First of all, I will show you I will show you the uh, AT slave as is in the uh, so if we send a simple AT, it should reply with OK. If we send AT plus question mark, it will list all the commands. We need uh, AT con first. So I have prepared a simple command that will transmit the uh, or set the radio to 868 megahertz, spreading factor 12, etc., etc. Basically, you can find all these parameters in the T conf right here. So it's defining uh, coding rate, etc. And now, if I do AT plus T tone, it should transmit the unmodulated signal. So now, if I start the cube monitor, what I would do if I had a clean uh, dashboard, I can simply click import in here, select the file to import. I would go to my repository, find the WL package, projects, uh, Nucleo WL, applications, uh, LoRaWAN, LoRaWAN AT slave, and here, as I mentioned, is the cube monitor folder. And here we can find the JSON that can be loaded into the cube monitor. So I will click cancel because I have everything imported. It will look just exactly like this, with the exception that the serial ports are not configured yet. I have them configured right now, but just for a showing purpose, I will change one of those and I will click deploy. And now I can uh, hook up the dashboard, which is the graphical interface of the flows. Yeah, so basically I'm uh, transmitting from this one the uh, tone and uh, the other one is receiving and uh, measuring the RSSI. So as you can see, we have minus 16 dBm, which is very good signal. And uh, I can also switch that. So 80 to stop the test. Now to configure it again. And this time I will measure the RSSI on this one. As you can see, I have minus 17, 117 dBm, so that means basically anything is received. And if I start here the transmission, I should get a, yeah, I have a value of minus 14 dBm. So that is basically what the uh, cube monitor is uh, accessing. And now if I, uh, this is the very basic tests. So you have uh, RSSI test and continuous wave test. So you can use uh, one Nucleo and your PCB as the other board or just uh, anything you need if you need to measure it on a more uh, precise equipment, you just generate the tone and that's it. So. Now I will switch my second port, so I will close this one. And now to configure this one, I need to click deploy again to have the changes. Click the dashboard and now I should have both, uh, both of the uh, nucleus connected together also show you 
like this. And now we can do a very simple test. I will reduce the power because they are right next to each other. So we have a bent light of uh, 125 and uh, spreading factor of 12, conjuring rate 4 from 6. And as you can see, it's uh, using it's performing a very simple packet error rate test. So one board is transmitting, the other one is receiving, and it's counting how many was uh, received and uh, what are the parameters of the signal connection. So we had very strong signal, good uh, signal to noise ratio, and packet error rate is also uh, zero. So good connection. I can also modify the parameters to have a higher bit rate. So it will perform faster now. You can also configure to use multiple frequencies. So it's not transmitting only on 863 megahertz, but uh, by a step it goes higher. And now, if you are also interested, uh, or if you are not interested in LoRa, this flow also provides the very same tests for the uh, FSK modulation. So you can test the very same things in here. And the last test is a uh, simple TX RX. So basically it's a fusion of the two I showed before. So one board is transmitting, the other one is uh, receiving. So I will lower the TX power and start them both. As you can see, one is transmitting, the other one is receiving. And now we can play a little bit more because if I cover the antenna, it should go a little to a little worse signal. Or if I add something more interesting, it should go even lower. And you can see how the radio is performing if you cover it, if you shield it, or whatever you need in your application. So what the node should withstand Oh, it is disconnected just now. My cable is not very good. Yeah, I think, yeah. Now it goes lower. Okay, and this is basically most of the application. There's also a little theoretical part that is the LoRa airtime. Air so we can count uh, or uh, theoretic theoretically calculate uh, what, how much time on air the uh, transmission would be. So with the spreading factor, bent wide, etc. Uh, as you can see, if I reduce spreading factor we will be faster only 328 milliseconds for example so very simple application to quickly calculate the time on air and the last part is the AT command so basically these applications also including a terminal and you can also see what is sent to the device so as I was uh, configuring it manually. Here is also the same command to configure the radio. There is some tone tests and then some data comes in. This is all from my side. Thank you for your attention.